Oh, thank God. Just a slight mess, all good. We have reached maximum level of relaxation. Here for it. Exciting stuff. Good morning. It is Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. And I, I was laying in bed for about an hour and a half. And now it's snowing outside. How exciting. What's perfect is that Friday night, I did my first Amazon orders and one of the things that I got was a plug for the tub so that I can take a bath because there's nothing there. And your girl loves a good bubble bath. So I'm hoping that that package, it's supposed to come today, so fingers crossed it does because today would be the perfect weather for a bubble bath. Perfect, perfect Sunday. It's an oatmeal kind of day. I definitely need to get a smaller pot because this is a little excessive for one person for oatmeal. It is time. Oops, just a slight mess, all good. All right, a little bit of cinnamon. Ooh. Or a lot of bit of cinnamon. Oh, that wasn't too much. Okay, well, I just cut off the resealable part, so off to a great start. Just gonna sprinkle some sliced almonds. Normally I would put some agave on this, but um, I forgot to get that in packet. So since I don't have agave, I'm just gonna put some banana on it to add a little more sweetness and flavor. I like little slices so that there's enough banana for every bite. The presentation is really everything. Okay, so what I'm trying to figure out is what furniture I really need first because I'm not trying to like just spend a ton of money on furniture right away unless it's like the right price so I'm trying to decide if I get a coffee table for right here this is what it looks like I've realized that my style is mid-century modern mountain rustic you know, like I like the mid-century modern, but I like it a little more with that like chunky wood look that you see in like the Colorado mountains. Like that is my style. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I really like the couch in this setup instead of the being parallel to the bed. I just feel like it like opens up the space a little more. So that's what I'm thinking is coffee table here, the double end table there, and then to clean up all of that little end table here and then what i'm thinking for a dining room table is going the circular route in this corner have a nice round table there and then some chairs and then eventually this is like far in the future eventually get a little bar cart here just because the kitchen doesn't have like a ton of surface area so it would be nice to have like a little rolling bar cart that I could use as like a another cutting or prepping surface so yeah that's what I'm thinking decisions decisions for the past two hours about I've been working on this final exam for the OT fit certificate that I need before I can start working as an Orange Theory coach again. Woo! Very excited to be doing that, but I just needed to finish up some coursework since I haven't done anything in like almost a year. So, actually, yeah, I haven't coached Orange Theory in a year. That's crazy because a year ago today, my sister and I were leaving for a international adventure. That's wild. So let's submit it together and find out if I passed. We've reached the end. Let's submit this baby. I need 80 or better. <gasps> oh, thank God. Oh my God. Oh my God, talk about cutting it close. Well, I'm just happy I passed, so I am good to start working. All right, what do we have? Yes, oh wow, that's way bigger than I thought it would be, but that's... Uh... 
catch hair at the bottom of my shower. And I got this like fun tack and then plugs for the bathtub so I can take a bubble bath. And then cooking sheets. I brought one with me, but it's um, too large. So got two more here. And that is our Amazon haul for the day. I did another order today, so in like two days or maybe even tomorrow, there'll be a, another Amazon package to open. My dinner, I made some homemade fried rice, which is just egg and rice because it didn't really have anything else. Some fried zucchini and cauliflower and onions. Love me some veg. We have reached maximum level of relaxation. I just took the best bubble bath update. These plugs that I just got from Amazon work so well. I'll link them below. But look at this setup I had going. Candle here. We got some Tranquil Lotus. And the Fresh Cut Gardenia. Those two, plus the salt lamp and the chill Spotify music. So I got this fun tack because I have all of these Polaroids that I want to put up on the side of the refrigerator. I feel like that would be a fun place to put them. So I'm going to use this to stick them on there. Made myself a nice little scramble. Just some onions and spinach because I was too lazy to chop up the peppers, but the onion was already chopped from last night. So today we are editing. I have a lot of editing to do because I need to edit the second part of the moving vlog. I haven't done that yet, but that video gets uploaded tomorrow, so today I have to edit it. Oh, I wish I could go outside though. It's like Gorgeous, not a cloud in the sky. So I've been editing all day. I've already gone through like two edits, got a little more spicing it up to do. But um, I'm definitely realizing that a table and chair, I think are priority over a coffee table because this is not that comfortable. This day is going by so slowly. It is literally 11.59. And I'm like basically done editing. I mean, it's good. I have a lot of time. I can maybe film my next video. Oh, I just wanna go outside. I don't know how people did this like through like lockdown, lockdown. Like I would definitely go nuts. So much more respect for those of you who were here in the city for all of this pandemic. Look at what just came in the mail. Ah oh my God, so cute. This company, Baboon to the Moon, reached out to me and they sent me a fanny pack. And it's so perfect because I actually realized I forgot like all of my small bags at home when I was packing. So this is perfect. So big, oh my God, so many pockets. And a little carabiner on the inside. Oh, yes. Here for it. So excited, thank you. Baboon to the moon. Update, it is almost nine o'clock and I have a table. I just have to put it together. I was gonna go for the round, but I feel like as much as I wanted the round, I just don't have the space for it. So I think this will work much better. Mm. 
and we have a table. So hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to find chairs so I can actually sit and really use this table. And I'm also getting a COVID test tomorrow because it's my fourth full day here. So I have to go get that and then obviously come back in quarantine until I get a negative result. So that's it for tonight. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Making myself another little scramble and then gotta get going so I can get to my COVID test. And about an hour later, your girl has been tested. Now I just have to head back home and wait for the results. Really loving this fanny pack. This is crazy. I am basically alone in Times Square right now. take the mask off. My God, I just walked a total of about six miles. Let me fix this lighting. There we go, now I look like a normal human. So I walked six miles, three there, three back. It was over in like Kipps Bay area. I forget what the name of the hospital was, but it was pretty straightforward. What an eventful morning. I think I'm gonna have some food because I am very hungry and then finish editing my video and get it uploaded because it's Tuesday and I have to put part two of the moving vlog up. Video is uploaded and ready to go. It's a nice short one, not even seven minutes today. I always like to schedule my videos as much as possible because then it's like has time to process the HD version um, and it's like everything is just ready to go and I'm not like stressing trying to figure things out last minute So I always upload it even if it's just like an hour before which it is right now I think I'm honestly just gonna start editing Sunday's video because I want to start doing weekly vlogs So like this what you're seeing is gonna be part of like a weekly vlog So I'm thinking of posting them on every Sunday if you want more of these let me know in the comments down below. Got another Amazon package. Also, I flipped the layout again and I tried flipping my bed. So I'm gonna live with it for a day and I also did an Instagram poll so we'll see what the people say. In the meantime, let's see what's in here. Oh yes! Oh, this is kind of tiny but I ordered myself a little fruit basket. Might be a little small, but it's better than the massive basket that I have right now. I also got just some white window shears because I'm pretty much just staring right into the other people's apartments across the way. So I feel like for just like a little added privacy, we're gonna try these out. And they were like $12 on Amazon, so. We'll see if they do anything. I don't think these are gonna do squat. And they honestly kind of just look like mosquito nets. Ugh, I don't know. These might be going back to Amazon. Showered, and now I'm making some dinner. We got some veggie, like tikka masala patties. And then I have some broccoli and cauliflower steaming in the microwave that I'll add some like spices to and it'll be a wonderful dinner. Also, there is something about taking a shower and putting on clean, comfy, cozy clothes and just like relaxing. The best feeling. I don't know what spices to put in. Cayenne pepper sounds right. Turmeric, that's definitely a good one for it there's turmeric in the patties. I'm gonna do some paprika. And then we just stir it all up. Mmm. 
that's really good okay well i'm gonna enjoy this and maybe actually start editing like i said i was going to earlier but then just was shopping for chairs and stuff for my apartment the spices on the vegetables really good i have outdone myself got my covid results back and we are negative so as my first outing into society i decided to do something that is a goal i am setting for myself which is we're running if you know me you know i've never really been a big runner but i think the reason why i've never been a big runner is because of the location you see in a city you have endless options of things to look at and directions to go while you run in the suburbs it's the same 30 houses every time. I've also just really always loved the idea of running as getting to know a new place. So I figure new city, new healthy hobby, why not? Just did a nice little yoga Zoom workout with my friend Lena. She's a yoga instructor and she's been doing them since like the summer and they're really nice. So I get them in when I'm in the mood and it was perfect after my run today. Now I gotta make some dinner. All right, here's dinner. Some chicken seasoned with Montreal chicken seasoning and then cauliflower, broccoli and French cut green beans, which are not my favorite green beans, but it's what I had with some spices. And that's the, that's the meal. I'm watching Eat, Pray, Love, finally. It's always been a movie on my list and I was like, it was like seven o'clock, I was gonna take my time to make dinner and here we are. So I'm gonna eat and watch Eat, Pray, Love and then probably shower and go to bed. So I'll see you guys in the morning. This is breakfast this morning. Got a nice scramble with some spinach and onions and sausage. Yummy! I have a call in like 20 minutes for my new job that I have to do and I realized I didn't make coffee yet, so that's what we're gonna do. Also, did I show you guys this yet? In my utensil drawer. I made a little kick up spot. There's something about organizing coffee that just feels so right. Just realized I forgot to put cream in it first. I like to put a little bit of creamer in on the bottom so then it like mixes in itself when the coffee pours in, but we'll just have to do a little mixing ourselves today. Really should have changed this white balance. Sorry about that. All right, meeting time. Okay, I am taking a break from editing because I've just been staring at my computer for the past like three and a half hours. It's like 3.30 in the afternoon. So I am going to go to TJ Maxx. And there's a few like kitchen items that I need that it'll just be easier to go there and get them instead of like ordering them on Amazon. I just know that I'll be able to find them there. And I need to stop and get some wine because I'm doing a little Zoom hangout wine sesh with my college friends later. We are back, let's do a little haul. So I went to TJ Maxx and they had none of the things that I was planning on getting there, but they did have other things that I forgot I wanted. One being some reusable bags. I didn't get the Stasher brand because those are just like so expensive and these are, just as reusable. They might not be like as great, but it's better than throwaway plastic. Also got some utility shears because I've been finding more and more lately that to like cut stuff up to put in omelets or even just like any type of sausage, it's so much easier to just do it with scissors. So I wanted some like designated food scissors. Got a corkscrew because I didn't have that. And then I also went to Target and I got some Oreos just because I love Oreos. And also I've been seeing on TikTok where you crush up Oreos with milk and put in the microwave and it makes a little Oreo cake. So we might be trying that tonight. 
And then I stopped at the liquor store and spent way too much on this bottle of wine, but I guess I'm treating myself tonight. Dinner for tonight. It's just our leftover chicken from the other night and then a whole zucchini because it was going bad and I needed to eat it. I am making the TikTok Oreo cake in the microwave. It's in there right now. I'm making a TikTok out of it too, cause you know, why not? So um, I'll tell you in about 20 seconds how it is. I mean, it's not like amazing, but I also definitely put a little too much milk in because it was in there for like two and a half minutes. Like, it's not bad. Can you see it? Ugh, it's so dark in here. It's like, <laughs> it's interesting. If you're like really craving some cake, but just have Oreos and milk, great option not perfect but good option good morning yes I am wearing the exact same sweatshirt and joggers that I've been wearing for the past week about because I'm not going anywhere at least not right now so happy Friday even though it won't be Friday when you're watching this or maybe it will be who knows today we got to edit and I have to go to Target to pick up a saucepan that I ordered and that's all I got on the agenda, so exciting stuff. Forgot the cream yet again. And there we have it, another scramble. Does anyone else like to scramble their eggs like that where they like scramble it in the pan or is that just a me thing? Cause I just find it so much more convenient and then there's one less thing that you have to wash because there's not a bowl that you had to scramble the eggs in. I don't know, anyway, time to enjoy my breakfast and then we'll get to editing. Guys, look at how adorable. My family sent me an edible arrangement because they know I'm going to be alone on Valentine's Day and I love fruit. And my mom would always send me edible arrangements from when I went away to boarding school in high school for birthdays or holidays. So it's like a nice little tradition. And I just love fruit. So I am going to eat this entire thing probably while I sit and edit. Last piece of the edible arrangement. I knew I would eat it all today. Good morning, happy Saturday. I have been in New York for a full week. It is crazy. Today, I, guys, I'm wearing jeans. I know, big, big moves for today. <laughs> um, I'm actually going out to go and film a TikTok. So we're gonna do a little exploring of Manhattan. Oh my God, <laughs> I spent almost three hours outside. My hands are so cold. I did stop at Target and I got my saucepan, my nice little saucepan's nuts, it's perfect size for oatmeal. And I got an Amazon package. Amazing. It's a magnetized dry erase board with markers so I can put it on my fridge because I am such a like visual person for to-do lists like I like to write them out and like physically check the box when I finish something so I think this will help me be more productive 
I am hardcore cleaning right now. I have swept my whole apartment, like picked everything up off the floor. Now I'm about to wet Swiffer so that we are clean so that tomorrow for Valentine's Day I can have a nice relaxing day and not feel like I have things to do. I'm listening to the Joe Rogan Experience podcast with Elon Musk. It's very fascinating. Crazy Saturday night, making some dinner in the oven. Got some stuffed peppers, which are actually a favorite of mine and pretty easy to make. So I'm gonna eat dinner and finish editing this video for tomorrow. So this is where I'm gonna end this week's vlog. They will not always be this long and I'm also keeping my Tuesday upload schedule of more of like sit down type videos and Sundays will be my vlogs of the week and then every first Friday I have an ASMR video. Stay safe and sane friends, I will see you in the next one, bye!